get some of that delicious broth and pour it over. Get that flavor started. Hello and welcome to another Taco Tuesday. Amigos, I'm so excited to show you how I make buche tacos. Buche tacos are one of my favorite tacos to have. And in order to have a good taquiza, we need a variety. So you're gonna see vegan chicharron, you're gonna see sausage, you're gonna see nopales, and a variety. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned all the way to the end and I'll tell you what buche is. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and let's get this party started! Woo! To your Instapot, you're gonna add some pork fat, some lard, okay? Use whatever you have at hand. And if you don't have that, you can add a little bit of oil. I appreciate you not baking that spoon in the pot, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> then I'm gonna add my onion. Right here I have some pork butt and I've chopped it up in nice chunks. And over here I have the buche. Now, if you don't like to deal with fatty stuff, you can trim all the fat off, but I think that it gives it a great flavor, so I'm gonna keep it in this delicious pot. How do you ask for a buche at the meat market? You just say buche? If you guys stick around to the end, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to order. Thank you. See, Cloud's trying to give you guys a freebie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just know I see some of our friends at like the carnicerias at the meat market struggling. Uh -huh. So I always jump in. I'm like, oh, what are you looking for? I'm happy to help you. <laughs> well, some of you know it and it starts with an M and some of you know it as something different. So next we're going to add our garlic and our bay leaf. And I'm out of garlic. So I got all the little specks. Use all your garlic. And my bay leaves are a little broken down. So if you get two to three good sized ones, it's going to be perfect for this. I'm gonna be using the ends of my cilantro because that's where all the flavor is, okay? So, use the ends. Next, you're gonna add a cup of your favorite beer. If you don't like beer, skip this step and substitute that for water. If you really like that flavor, add some more. <laughs> I'll take that cup. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you want a little taste cloud? I do. A ver, a ver, a ver. Salud, I'm holding the camera so poor. Yeah, she's, she's ready for some tacos. Ooh, <laughs> it's too early for that. <laughs> hey, we're self quarantined. <laughs> yep. We're quarantined and we're going to eat tacos and cheve. Apparently, I added uh, almost a whole bottle, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, but go with one cup. <laughs> Once you've added your beer, you're going to add some water. And I do have about a cup of water, just enough to where you can get it all soaked in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you want to add your salt. So we have about one tablespoon of salt, okay? Now the big step is, I'm just kidding. We just gotta wait for this to cook. And if you guys don't have one of these pressure cookers, which we've renamed our uh, Instant Pot to Casey Jr. <laughs> now it's time to set Casey Jr. We're gonna put pressure cook, and we're gonna take it all, all the way up to 28 minutes. I want this super soft and tender, okay? It's supposed to be fall apart in your mouth. So while we're doing this, let's get started on our salsa. Now I'm gonna roast my tomato, tomatillo, my jalapenos, and we can't let this one go to waste. Let's roast that baby. Some garlic, okay? So this is gonna take about six minutes for all of these to roast, and right before they're uh, ready, we're gonna add our chile de árbol to roast as well, so hang tight. For those of you that don't have an Instant Pot, I recommend that you do all of the things that we've added into the pot, but you're gonna boil it for about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. That's gonna give it enough time to soften up and just be ready for what the next step will be. And I'll also make sure to leave that in the description area in case you guys forget, okay? Thanks, mom. You're welcome. Well, we were just talking about Beyonce, guys. Shout Sorry. out to Beyonce if she's watching this, okay? I'm just hoping and being hopeful here. <laughs> all right, back to the salsa. I ended up adding a little bit of oil because my pan was smoking up but you guys can put it on there or not it's going to be an option and these are my chiles de árbol and I'm just going to go ahead and toast them just a little bit it should take like 45 seconds to a minute my heart's beating fast for all these chilies on here <laughs> and while that's going on I'm going to start taking out my tomato and my other ingredients so that we can start uh, blending got our ajo our garlic and I'm going to have to chop these down a little bit
I ate half of the jalapeno and it's fire. I can tell you right now. I don't know. We've been into jalapenos lately, friends. How about you guys? Yes? No? Yeah. Oh, yes. We had one of our friends send us a, a picture of her jalapeno salsa. Her warm salsa. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. We, we were approved. All right. Let me just blend this real quick and I'll get right back to you. I've blended my salsa and I just want to let you know the only thing that I added that you don't know about is salt. But that's going to be in the description area. There's also no lemon, no lime because my tomatillo was nice and floral, scenty with the citrus that I was looking for. It's just perfect. And for these tacos, this is the kind of salsa you want. If you're using a disco like this, you want to add your pork lard right in the middle, right here. It's just gonna melt off, okay? No, it's not a disco, it's un disco. It's un disco, but... It's a disc. Okay, for all my friends that don't know, it's a disco. And we're gonna add our onions and our garlic. I usually like to add a lot more garlic, but as I mentioned, I'm out, guys. I'm being a pobrecita right now. You're gonna notice that this disco smokes up a bit, so use a little bit of canola oil to balance out the smoke. All we want to do right now is warm everything up and begin the cooking of our onions before we add our next step, okay? So this should take about, I want to say four to five minutes. I have it on a very low heat. Some of you are going to say, Steph, that's too much fat in there. I'm going to tell you it's not enough and you're going to see why in just a moment. The type of pork fat that I'm using is manteca de carnitas. So whatever they get from the carnitas, that's exactly what they sell in this big container. So if you make carnitas at home, save that lard. It's been about four minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our soy chicharrones. If you guys need the recipe for this, I'll leave it in the description area. Let me tell you, you're not gonna miss the chicharrones one bit. What happened to your voice box? I got really excited. And Peter Brady let you pass in the tacos ahora. Callate, Claudia. Make sure they get coated with all that pork fat. Now, if you're not going to be using the pork fat, my vegetarian friends, go ahead and use whatever oil that you're comfortable with, okay? One that doesn't smoke up. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and continue to cook these. And I think our butcher's about ready. Let's go check it out. Friends, we're ready to release that Casey Jr. coming down the track, coming down the track. Ooh, we're nice and ready, amigos. Look at this deliciousness. I'm gonna just scoop everything out and then I'm gonna take it to the cutting board so that we can start prepping for what we gotta do next, okay? Sounds good. Don't forget the garlic. Maybe not. You're gonna take your buche and we're gonna chop it up into strips, okay? Oh, look at how tender that is. So I've chopped our buche. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our buche and our pork right on our disco. En la disco, eh, eh, <laughs> muevelo, muevelo. <laughs> okay, my lovely friends, I'm gonna show you how I like to chop it up for adults, okay? The buche. You just need some fine pieces like that. You see how tender that is? Perfect. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this for the kids and we're gonna chop it up really fine, so watch your ears, okay? If your iron is low, you're gonna love this recipe here. It seems people that are low in iron like these gamey um, flavors from different proteins. And this is no different, just continue to chop it up. And since it's for kids and you're gonna introduce them to something new if you've never had it, you wanna chop up a little piece of pork to kinda of trick them, or entice them, I should say, you know? They're not gonna know what flavor it is or what they're eating. They're just gonna think you give them pork tacos. Who wanted this piece? You? Yes. 
There you go, honey. Thank you. Oh, you like that? Mm-hmm. Salió perrón. The perrón? Okay. So the smaller the pieces you give to the kids, the softer this taco is going to be, where it's just like no complaints at all. So if this is how you're going to serve it to your family, you can chop it up this fine before you even put it back on the on the pot, okay? On the disco. Cloud's giving me the look because I keep on saying disco. I'm going to get the chancla, guys. I've already cooked my chicharron as long as I need to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the water. I'm gonna start getting my section aligned over here. Once you chop your bucha into strips, you're gonna place it right into that oil broth that we have going on, okay? If you need a little bit more of the lard, you can add it, and that's the reason why those three tacos taste so good. So don't forget to tip your taquero, especially the vaquero. You know how we feel about that. Make sure you pick your sides, and then over here, we're gonna go ahead and start placing our pork. We're going to let this pot get acquainted for another 15 minutes, so hang tight. It's been 15 minutes and it's time for our grand finale. Samnopales. And look at these lovely onions I have. They're from the garden, so I'm going to chop them up a bit and put them right on in. I know a lot of you saw the onions and you're excited. You excited, Cloud? Yes, it's my, one of my favorite parts. Yes. Get some of that delicious broth and pour it over. Get that flavor started. And while our nopales and our onions are cooking, we're going to take some of our buche and we're going to start chopping that up so that we can prepare our tacos. Now you're going to take your corn tortillas. You're gonna dip that in. Give it a little swipe. Woo! <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Sorry, we have too much too much fun. Too, too much. Fun. Too much fun making tacos. Ha 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 Okay, so now you're just gonna warm up your tortillas right here. And if you see, I'm really stuffed and crowded here. So hang tight while I warm up the tortillas. Can I just say that I love being self-quarantined with you? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time, friends. You gotta stay happy, okay? You gotta stay happy in whatever it is that you're doing. How come you haven't made fun of my tenazas how I have it here? Because I've, I've made enough you know, fun of you all day today, so I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're not making That's fun so of... That's so bootleg. You're not making fun of my bronzer today or my tenazas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you must really love these tacos, mija. Let's see. Let's go. You can't be fighting with the chef right before you're going to eat tacos. That's horrible. right. Remember I'm what I extra, taught you. I'm extra lovey-dovey when I see this. Boo -boo. Oh, boo -boo. oh, the doggies can smell it, guys. They're right here lined up. Remember what I taught you. Make sure to tip your taqueros. I'll be doing all the dishes today. Hey, que linda. All right. So, you know how we like these street tacos with double tortilla. And if your meat got cold after you chop it, you can just bring it right back up here to warm up, okay? And everybody starts lining up. Yep. The kids already said, call me when they're ready. Like, they've come up here a few times, and I'm like, they're not ready yet. Yeah, they've been down here, uh, like, 
Often. Yeah. Even older kids. Even the doggies are crying. Everybody wants in on this. <laughs> All right. So here are your cebollitas. They're ready. And if you see the soy crisped up there, and having a little bit of a variety is going to be excellent. So let's start assembling our taco. You ready? I'm ready. I'm going to let you Girl, you over there doing, talking about doing dishes. Look at what I did. <laughs> I really want the full-on experience of my tacos at home. Bless you, boo-boo. All right, vamos a, let me make yours real quick and then put some salsa on these. Okay, now you need some onions and some cilantro. You need a good amount of that stuff. Bring your lemon or lime. And since we're in quarantine, I have lemon. <laughs> now you're going to add your salsita. The buche tacos are not something that you have to have avocado sauce or pico de gallo. This is exactly how you need to have it. So, girl, I can't wait. I got to taste this. Let's see. You can add a little bit of lemon if you want. Woo! Bendito. Friends, I have something to say before I take this huge bite. I want to thank you so much for joining me on Taco Tuesdays. This is a highlight of my life. And as always, views, club, and bells. I'm wishing you the best from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. A ver, ya el taco, el taco. You had me at tacos. Ready? I'm ready. Girl. I love these tacos de buche. They're one of my favorites. Huh? You have buche in your lip. <laughs> pues no hay nadie que me lo quite. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, girl. Amazing. Y'all did yourself, girl. ¿Cuántos se van a comer? Diez. Diez? No, cuatro. I don't know, Cloud. People want you to come, come through with that chicken dip, girl. I'll think about it. Not people, our friends. So <laughs> change your mind. That's the word on the street, okay? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We oh, may yeah. have a surprise for them. Oh, yeah, girl. For those of you that are scared of bucha, don't be. You're overthinking it. Says a human with anxiety. <laughs> Girl, I don't think my lips are going to make it through these taco seasons, okay? But I'm going to wash it down some Jamaica. You guys want a recipe? And a link to this awesome picture. I mean, a mason jar picture. That's what I, I love it. You're living now. I'm living. Min chile. I love Taco Tuesday because there's no judgment. Right? Like my noise, my no, my noise. My nose is running from the spice and I just want to come in for more. Let me throw it to me. I have two seconds before my kids are like, we know they're ready. <laughs> we know you guys are playing down there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't want the fun to end. Okay, so I mentioned that I was going to tell you what is buche for those of you that don't know. There's, there's a variety of explanations for it, but I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you to understand. If you've ever had tripe, tripe comes from beef, buche is from pork. It goes along with a throat and the stomach of the pig, but the difference here is that once you cook it and everything breaks down, it's tender and it's not as chewy as you would have with tripas. So don't be turned off by it. I'm telling you, it is a delicacy. It is amazing. And if you go to your taquero, don't forget to tip them and ask them, Tiene tacos de buche? <laughs> and they're going to be like, okay. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I have to say. Any other question, Cloud? No. When's the, when's the chicken dip coming, girl? <laughs> it's coming sometimes, it's... sometimes very soon. Ooh, yeah. More tacos? More tacos. More tacos. <laughs>